Hello everybody and welcome to my channel and this video today actually is going to be a little different. Um, as you can see I look a little different so just want to give you guys a full view of what's kind of going on here. Okay, um, this video is actually supposed to be a tutorial but and tell you the reason why it's not a full tutorial. It's actually not even a tutorial. Um, okay. Um, okay. Let me, uh, if you guys can see my hair, I kind of have it kind of twisted in the back and kind of hanging down on the side. Okay. Um, the reason why this is not a, a tutorial, um, it's supposed to be, I told you guys, I think a video I did yesterday, I was going to do a tutorial today on a look for graduation for the eyes. I was trying to do, because um, I know I wasn't going to have time to do the full face, so I was going to do the foundation and then do the eyes. However, um, I noticed that with my videos, um, to get the boldest colors, or when I looked at the videos that I have downloaded so far, the ones I've done, I've been a little nervous about doing some of the tutorials because I don't know the full um, colors that I get doing the, the best quality because I haven't learned to do um, the videos on the window, I think it's called Windows Movie Maker 2.6, I have that downloaded and I think once I get in there I'll be able to enhance the color or make it better as far as the way that um, YouTube has requirements that give it the best quality. Um, and that does make a difference from what I've read. So like I've been just downloading with my camera directly as it is directly to the directly to YouTube and from what I've been reading um, there's just a certain way that you do it that improves the quality and how that it turns out. Now, I have a really good camera. I, have a, I, really, I mean, I have a good camera. It's not that, but it's just when I, I noticed in my other videos, like when I have them on my computer, when I look at my laptop, they look really, really good. They almost look in high def, but then once I download them, they're like this little, like they, they're this big on the computer, then they look this little, and then they're not clear. I do notice in the daytime when I do the videos, and I'm in a certain area of my house, which is in my loft area, they look really bright. So that um, does make a difference. Okay, so I figured I'd go ahead and give you guys a look, I'll let you guys take a look at this particular look that I did. Now, I kind of just did put my hair because I want you guys to be able to really just kind of focus on the eyes. And sometimes with all that hair that I have going on, it kind of takes away from <laughs> the eyes. Now, the whole idea about this was, was to create a more dramatic eye that would stand out in pictures and that would have sparkle to it, but not overdo it. So like from a disc, see, as you can see, I'm kind of up this close and the eyes kind of have a sparkle to it. Well, around the ring of the eye. So that was a look that I kind of wanted to go for. Even back from a distance, you can still kind of see a little bit of that sparkle. And then when you're up close, of course, um, you know, you can definitely see that. Um, let me get up close here, see how far. Um, okay, so this is kind of what is going on with the eye. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use this video to see how, how that it turns out. And if it turns out good on there, I'm going to either one, I'm, well, definitely do the look. Um, and those of you who watch it, I will go ahead and show you what I did. Two, if I watch it and everything looks a little blurred out and it's quite, not quite as intense, I'm just going to intensify the colors and see what I need to do to improve it. I didn't want to walk through the whole entire process and then as I was doing it, you guys go, you can't even really see the colors. So I'm going to go ahead and upload this as is and then if it turns out okay and you can see the colors good, then I know that it's fair enough that I'll go ahead and do it. If I see that the colors you know, basically just they're washed out really bad, then obviously I would just go ahead and intensify them and make everything bolder and bigger. Um, I just didn't want to go ahead and do the, go walk all the way through the tutorial and then you guys see the colors and they not be rich enough and that wouldn't be cool. So anyways, um, so that's the look. Um, as you can see, there's the eyeliner at the bottom and this is a very simple look to do. I mean, not unless you're somebody who really has never done makeup, but this is a basic eyeliner look. There's no heavy detail involved. I did add, I think there's like one, two, I think there's three colors on the lid completely, actually four, um, but not difficult at all. I just pulled the gold all the way out to here. 
Um, and I didn't pull the black out so far because I didn't want it to look like you were, you were, you know, I didn't want it to look dramatic like you were trying to go for any certain type of, you know, look or nothing like that. But so that's kind of the look right there. And I just have my regular eyelashes. I don't have false eyelashes on. But if I was going to graduate and I was doing my makeup and I knew how to put them on, yeah, I mean, I'm saying if I were you guys out there, I would go ahead and definitely put false eyelashes on. Um, and I do have the Revlon ones now that are now adhesive ones that they're already sticky, sticky, and they absolutely work. You just pop them on, and they actually do stick on. So anyways, that's the look. Um, and just a, a couple of pointers that if you are going to... Um, I realized on the West Coast, actually out here where I live, some of the kids have already graduated and I didn't even think about that before thinking of doing um, my eye tutorial for makeup for graduation. They have already graduated, had graduation out here where I am over here. Now, um, where our hometown is, they haven't had graduation yet because um, they have, they just haven't yet. So um, that's not until I think June the 19th. So that's the reason why I was going to do the video. But then out here where I'm at, I said, well, you know, at least if I go ahead and do the look, you know, it'll still be posted um, for future reference. And plus by then, um, I'll come up with different looks later. But this is a very simple look. I told you guys I was going to try to keep starting out doing my videos, um, doing the basics, keeping them simple. This is actually a very simple look. It looks um, because it's just blue, it's only just a few colors, and so this is not a technical look at all. Even the makeup is very simple. I didn't even do, I didn't even do a bunch of stuff, to, tons of stuff. I didn't even do too much contouring at all. I only did a little bit right up in here, and I intentionally made this a little bit, um, have a little bit of highlight, just a little bit, um, and that's it. I didn't want to do too much, but pretty much and kept the lips very um, neutral. I do have lip liner on that is the same color of my lips and then a very soft gloss. And that's about it. And if you're going to do like, um, I know for actual graduation day they, they tell you like, I'm not sure about the earrings and things like that, but I know certain places there's certain things you can wear and certain things you can't, but um, I would just definitely um, keep the lips soft. If you're, if you're going heavy up here, then go soft on lips. If you're just going to do mascara and really heavy, if you're going to do like even false eyelashes or heavy eyelashes thick and do heavy eyeliner, then then you can do a bright lip. But if you're not going to do tons of, if you're not going to do eyeshadow, you can keep it neutral up there, then you can do a really bright lip. But don't do both because you just, you're going to look funky. Now I've seen people do and I've done colors, color, color, but the colors blend and work together. So I'm not saying that you can't do it. Um, so anyways, so tell me, tell me, you know, give me feedback what you guys think. Um, I know, I'm hoping that you can see this because it is really, if you've seen it in person, it is very bling, bling, bling. Um, let me get a little close again. This thing should really get, it's not as sparkly as it is here. Okay, so maybe not, but okay. So, anyways, and I didn't want it to be, the reason why I used the glitter um, eyeliner is I didn't want to have glitter shadow falling all over my face. That's the worst thing I want to tell you guys. If you are going to do a look that's bold, stay away from the glitter eyeshadows on graduation or you're going to have a bunch of fallout all over your face. And this stuff stays. I mean, it's up there. So, anyway, so there you go. It's very different. <laughs> so tell me what you think. All right. And um, all right. So I'll see you guys next video. Maybe this one again, a tutorial. So I'll let you guys know. Thanks. Bye.